Hey everyone, this is Kevin Shriver from Your Pet Business Now. I hope you all are doing very well and thank you very much for watching this video. And I truly mean that when I say thank you. There are a lot of other things that you could be doing on the interwebs and on YouTube with things distracting you and getting your attention. I appreciate you paying attention to this video. I really hope that you find this helpful. I want to talk to you today about your process and why improving your process for your pet business. So if you have a business or if you're thinking about starting a pet business, why your process is probably the most important thing that you can work on and why you want to work on your process and not the inputs in order to improve your business. This is a visual chart. I'm going to use this chart here and use this uh, to visually explain some things. But if you think of <clears throat> A manufacturing plant. Okay, you know, we, we hear about you know manufacturing is dying in the United States. Wherever anybody that produces a physical product, what you have to do <clears throat> is you have to do a couple things. I don't care what you're producing. I'm just going to use this as an example. Each of these blocks represent a different part of the process. The result, and then the 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 excuse me the. Uh, the solution or whatever the, the, the end result that comes out of this process of adding these pieces together, we get a result. And what we have to do in the process is we can either take, and all we have is uh, two things. We have the inputs in a manufacturing sense. The inputs are really the raw materials, right? If you're making plastic or making steel for example we need iron and we need all these other things and we you know for example we put it in a fire we smelt it and we make it blah blah, blah. it comes out it comes out as steel at the end and then somebody wants to buy that well <clears throat> as it relates to a pet business the inputs that we have are basically two things all we have is you who you are as a person as well as the number of prospects, the number of uh, views, the number of people, the leads, basically the number of people that see you in your business. And the reason I say that those are really the only two inputs is because everything else fits into a controllable process. You can control yourself, and this is why I talk about working on yourself very often and all the time because if you bring a better you, <clears throat> To this process that we're talking about, you are going to get a better result. And let's be honest, really the only result that we're actually thinking about getting all the way down here at the end of our process of running our pet business is simply this. Um, it, it, the only end result that we can get is money. Am I right? Is there, uh, obviously happiness is going to come with this, come from all this as well, but really, we have to get more money because, you know, if you're running a pet business and you're not running it efficiently, and I'm going to talk about the process here, it's pretty frustrating. If any of you have one of those businesses currently, money is going to solve a lot. And, I'll, and as, as we know in business, you can earn some money. Obviously, that helps you in your personal world, your personal external environmental world. But it also can help you with reinvesting back in the business and improving some of these processes. So going back to this, these inner blocks here that I believe are most important <clears throat> because again, we want to get more money at the end. If you bring yourself plus the number of people in here, we need to improve this process. So in each of these blocks, let me use a different color, each of these blocks, so for example, inside of delivering your service to a client, there might be three different things that you can work on inside of the business. You go to your marketing section. There might be th three different areas that you can work on in your marketing. As you can imagine, I'm going through the list here. Your customer service. There might be three measurable pieces that you can work on to improve that. Your follow-up in your client communication that could fall in there and then also your business administration i'm just using this as an example 
as again with any process, you will have probably, you could have more, you could have less, right? And here's the deal. If each of these three blocks, let me use this as an example, produces <clears throat> one unit of value all the way down here that produces, uh, you know, gets us the money that we want here at the end. If it currently produces one, then our result obviously is going to be five. Now, if if five happens to be our you know, our solution or, you know, or whatever the equation produces, our process produces five units of value to us, which could be money. We can obviously, again, money is what we want to earn in our pet business, but also in business, it's very measurable, right? Money is just the most measurable thing that we have. That's why it's easy to understand. When I talk to children about personal development, money is an easy thing to understand. Kids understand money, right? They say, hey, I want more of it. The person produces more value. Someone who doesn't make enough money, they don't produce enough value. Okay, that's pretty simple. Kids understand that. I know there's more values in this. Don't, you know, don't get mad at me and say, Kevin, all you do is talk about money. I know there's much more values. There's value, values in relationships. There's values and value um, you know, in your spiritual connectedness, in your spiritual world. I get that. I'm only talking about money here because it's easy to understand. So if we have a process that improves, for example, that produces five units worth of value to us. Again, all we did was evaluate and say, here's our process, here's us, we're putting our inputs in, we're in producing five units of value. If five units or five dollars or whatever this end result is, is, is good for you, fine, then, you, then that's it. However, if you're frustrated with this end result, if this is not what you want to do, I challenge you to work on this process as opposed to potentially just adding in more numbers. A lot of uh, individuals will say, well, just get more, more leads, more people in, um, and that's really going to solve the problem. Uh, I want you to, you need to make sure you have the process down first because here's the deal. Let's say you go in and you find and you research that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 areas. That may or may not be the right number for your business that you have the potential to improve. Either improve the productivity or improve the efficiency. Improving the productivity is going to increase this number at the end. So, for example, if we find out that I can improve whatever process here in number one by, you know, one and a half, so it now produces you know, a half of, excuse me, one, two, three, I'm going to just make this 1.5. Now this can improve. Now the total end result that comes out of here is 1.5. If I go here to number three and I improve this one by a half, 50% more, you now, let's say it produces one and a half more on that. Same thing right here. If you guys follow me, we're now producing one and a half. One and a half more, 50% more, 50% more. Again, one, two, and three just are simply the labels for the number of things you can work on. Well, what happens? If you guys, for example, you spent one year and you improve 50% on one, one piece here, 50% here on the next month, 50% here on a process here and on here and on here, learn some skills, improve yourself, you now are producing 50% more in each of these individual blocks. Now let's do the math now, right? We've added, you know, a half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half. This now is not five, it's now seven and a half. We didn't change necessarily you. Obviously, you will work, you will improve because you are working on all these things and actively working to improve this process. We didn't improve the number of inputs that we have. So we didn't just dump in a bunch of Google leads or do a bunch of advertising or throw out a bunch of flyers and door hangers lying around. We improved the process and we now are doing better just by improving the process. That's awesome. Now, if this is increased, if all these improvements are increased productivity, as I said, you will get better results at the end, which could be more money, could lead more could lead to more happiness to you. 
On the other hand, if you improve some of these pieces in here and they may improve efficiency, as in you're spending 10 hours a week on one area, I'm just circling this block for no reason, and you're doing 10 hours a week and you cut that down and you now are doing five hours a week, you figure out a process improvement to improve efficiency, you now get five hours back in your week. That five hours you could either use to invest in other areas of improvement in your business, or if you want to gain that back into your life and have more time, five more hours a week could mean going to a yoga class, reading, spending time with your loved one, as an example. So you could be using the efficiency in your business to get back that value in that inside of your life power. And again, that becomes value. You become, you know, become a more valuable person if you're spending more time with someone that you love. What I want you to understand with all of this is simply this. Don't focus on this. If you are focused on just doing the numbers and adding in more people in your system, you're going to be in for a world of hurt because what happens is if you have an inefficient process, you're going to just create a ton more headaches at the end. I challenge all of you to think about your most pressing area in your process that you can improve in your process. Go work on it. Read some books. Get a mentor. Get a coach. Uh, take the classes. Join the join the stuff. Join the join. The, you know, I'm, I'm challenging you here. Join the um, join the course, the online course that we have, uh, plus the mastermind group that we have, the Facebook group. If you need to improve something, it's going to then improve that individual part of the process, and then it's going to give you a bigger result at the end. And here's the other thing too: once you improve these, this number keeps getting bigger. So if the results you're looking for are to improve your money in the economic sense and improve your value, it's going to continue to go up. So while you took you know one month here, two months, in five months you raised your output by you know again this is just in this sense all you know 40 percent by just improving things would you like to increase your output by improving something one time one piece each month for five months i'd love to have a 40 percent process improvement in five months i know that's what i did when i first started especially if you're just getting started or you have a business you can do it the process improvements are very simple but focus on the process and improving your process first once you get this part down, then you have a ton of confidence going back into here with the inputs um, of adding more people or more potential people into your business. And you want to be confident when you add these people in because if you don't have this uh, mousetrap built, you don't have a really good mousetrap built, you're just going to be in for a world of frustration and overwhelm. And I don't want you to be in that place for very long. Do you have any questions or comments on this? video in this concept here, please leave a comment below. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great rest of the day.